depreciation account is not complicated but you need to understand so here many things you need to prepare in your exam sometimes you need to prepare non current asset account sometimes you need to prepare disposal account sometimes provision for depreciation account so in this tutorial i'll show you how to prepare provision for depreciation of motor vehicles account in our previous tutorial i explained how to prepare motor vehicle account and today we will learn provision for depreciation account okay so here we are applying reducing balance method okay for your better understanding we have taken a question from 2023 rgcc accounting past paper so before we start writing here let us have a look at the question stellar charges depreciation at 25 percent per annum using the reducing balance method she charges a full year's depreciation in the year a vehicle is purchased and none in the year it is sold on 31st december 2022 stella sold a vehicle for nine thousand five hundred dollars the vehicle had cost sixteen thousand dollars on first september 2020 so here we calculated gain or loss on disposal so i recommend you watch this video then you come back here otherwise many things you will not understand for you i'll put the link in the description okay then the balance on stellar's ledger account on first january 2022 included the following so here we have motor vehicles for the eight thousand dollars here we have provision for depreciation on motor vehicles twenty one thousand dollars okay so these are information we have here on the question now we need to prepare this account okay so provision for depreciation of motor vehicle account what things will be included here all about depreciation will be included right so here this format we have date detail and dollar column on the debit side and here day detail and dollar column on the credit side okay so opening balance this account has a credit balance okay so opening balance if you have on the question you need to write this balance on the credit side okay so here on the question we have provision for depreciation on 1st january 2022 and we need to prepare this account for the year ended 31st december 2022 okay so balance on 1st january it is an opening balance yeah so as i told you this account has a credit balance so we will write balance on the credit side of provision so it seems it, it has a credit balance yeah so we will write here on the credit side okay so let us write first the date 2022 january 1st we will write here balance brought down bd so here on the question we have twenty one thousand dollars okay so many information we have here on the question so we need to calculate the current year depreciation as well okay current year depreciation appears as income statement okay in this account why in the income statement because current year depreciation is an expense for the business okay and you know expense appears on the income statement under the expense section okay so here we need to calculate the current year depreciation how you calculate it is not given here on the question so she has a motor vehicle for the eight thousand dollars it is on the question okay from this forty eight thousand dollars this is the closing balance yeah balance on 31st december so so she already sold motor vehicle for sixteen thousand dollars on the question so let us have a look at there so it is written clearly on first on 31st december 2022 stella sold a vehicle for nine thousand five hundred dollars the vehicle had cost sixteen thousand dollars on first september 2020 so sixteen thousand dollars is the cost price we only consider cost price okay not selling price don't forget so here if we subtract the cost price we get here 20 30 2000 dollars right so 
from this tally, uh, tally $2,000. Now we need to subtract the previous year depreciation. Yeah? So the method is here, reducing balance method. So how to calculate depreciation for reducing balance method? Cost minus depreciation. Previous year depreciation equal to net work value. If you multiply net work value by the rate of depreciation, 25%, will be able to get depreciation for the year okay and this will appear as income statement here okay so here on the question we have to be a set depreciation let us have a look at there so here we see motor vehicle for eight thousand dollars and under this we have provision for depreciation on motor vehicle it is twenty one thousand dollars okay so we will subtract this twenty one thousand from here no not at all why because the vehicle, the depreciation of the vehicle which is sold for $9,500 is included here with this amount $21,000. So we cannot subtract $21,000 from here. So here the depreciation, provision for depreciation on the question it is $21,000. Okay. The vehicle which is sold, cost price was $16,000. We Okay. We calculated two years depreciation on this uh, asset value cost. So here, first of all, we calculated first year 25%. We calculated here $4,000. Second year, $16,000 minus 4,000 because we need to calculate the net work value. That's why we need to subtract previous depreciation, okay? Then we find here $12,000, right? So we multiplied the rate 25%, we calculated three thousand dollars so if we add these two amounts four thousand plus three thousand we get here seven thousand dollars right so this is the depreciation for the asset which is disposed okay this depreciation is included here with this twenty one thousand dollars okay so we need to minus this amount first of all so now we get here fallen thousand dollars okay so this fallen thousand dollars the provision for depreciation of the existing asset okay current motor vehicle okay so we will minus this amount from thirty two thousand dollars to calculate net work value okay so here we get now eighteen thousand dollars okay so here if we multiply the rate now 25% we get here $4,500 okay this is current year depreciation so many of you will subtract $21,000 directly so if you do like this it will be incorrect because you need to subtract disposed asset depreciation first from the provision of depreciation which is $21,000 okay so let us write here now on the credit side, 2022 December 31st, okay, the closing day. So here we will write income statement. Okay, we calculated $4,500, okay. Great, now what things will appear here? So here depreciation of disposed asset will appear, right? So we calculated here $7,000 disposed asset depreciation the cost price was sixteen thousand dollars okay so here on the question question once again on 21st december 2022 stella sold a vehicle for nine thousand five hundred dollars the vehicle had cost sixteen thousand dollars on first september 2020 so here on this amount the cost price sixteen thousand dollars we calculated this uh, this uh, depreciation seven thousand dollars okay this asset is no more in the business so we need to write here disposal okay so it is seven thousand dollars we calculated so the date will be the last day of the year 2022 december 31st okay so these are only items to appear on the provision for depreciation account okay three items first of all the, the the opening balance okay it will be given on the question if it is not given you don't have to write it will appear as 
balance PD on the credit side as this account is a credit account okay then we have to calculate the current year depreciation okay current year depreciation must be there in the question you need to calculate okay so here it will appear as income statement on the credit side then we have to write here disposal okay depreciation of disposed asset if it is given you need to write if it is not given no problem you don't have to write okay these two items will only appear okay great so easy to remember three items nothing more if you understand this account this tutorial today many accounts many things you can do by yourself okay question however you'll be able to answer in your exam okay great now what to do now we need to balance it okay on the question it is clearly written PPL tell us provision for depreciation on motor vehicles account for the year ended 31st December 2022 balance the account at 31st December 2022 and bring down the balance on 1st uh, January 2023 so we, we are required to balance this account so how to balance it it is also quite simple so we need to check which column is here greater okay so we we see the credit column is greater so credit side we will sum up first so here we get $21,000 plus $4,500 we get here $25,500 if we sum up we will take it to the opposite side that means on the debit side $25,500 okay now we will minus this $7,000 from this total $25,500 we get here $18,500 okay so this is what this is the closing balance of provision for depreciation of motor vehicle account okay we write here balance balance CD stands for carry down and the date is given question on the question last of the financial year 2022 December 31st okay if date is even not written on the question we know the closing date okay the last day of the financial period and then here we need to bring down the balance how to bring down so here our balance CD we carry down the balance on the debit side and we'll bring down on the credit side okay opposite balance CD debit side BD will go to the credit side okay balance CD BD does not come on the same side okay so here we will write 2023 y23 a uh, new financial year will be started at january 2023 so we will write here january first and here we will write balance bd brought down it is 18500 okay so this is how you need to prepare provision for depreciation of motor vehicle account.